Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to speak about acids and bases, strength versus concentration. Let's get started. First of all, the concentration of an acid refers to the number of moles of acid in a certain volume. For that reason, we can use this formula. Concentration of acid is equal to N over V. So, if I have the concentration of ethanoic acid 0.1, it means that I have number of moles of ethanoic acid equal to 0.1 in every cubic decimeter. While the strength is referring to how much the acid or base will dissociate in aqueous solution. Strong acid or base will fully dissociate in water according to the following equation. Why I can say that this is representing strong uh, acid because we have one way arrow. And of course, this is acid. Why? Because we have hydrogen produced. For example, HCl is fully dissociated to produce hydrogen ion and chloride ion. Weak acids or base will partially dissociate in water. We have here an example, HA is partially dissociated to H plus and A minus. Why it's partially? because we have reversible arrow. An example for that, ether, e ethanoic acid will partially dissociate H plus and CH3COO minus. So no matter how concentrated a weak acid is, it is still weak acid. So it will never become a strong acid because it will always dissociate partially. See, same as with strong acid, like hydrochloric acid, does not make it anything other than strong acid, even if he diluted it. Diluting a strong acid will never make it a weak because it is fully dissociated. But we can have, if we have very diluted strong acid, very diluted strong acid, maybe it could have like a high pH than very concentrated solution of weak acid. How this could happen? Let's check an example. This is strong acid. Why again? Because we have one-way arrow. Let's say that the concentration of this strong acid is 0 0.001. And as we agreed before, the concentration of the hydrogen ion is equal to the concentration of the strong acid. So the concentration of hydrogen ion will be 0 0.001. So the pH will be 3. Okay. This is a weak acid, partially dissociated. Let's say that this partial dissociation is 1%. Can you imagine? 1%. What if we have the concentration of this acid is 1? And this 1% of hydrogen produced will be 0 0.01, which will make the pH 2. So can you see here the difference? Yes, the weak acid has a lower pH. Why is that? Because the weak acid is very concentrated and the strong acid is very diluted, but nothing will change in terms of the dissociation fully or partially. Strong acid will fully dissociate, weak acid will partially dissociate. But the strength, we are referring to what is the amount or the concentration of hydrogen ion that we have in the solution. So, because the solution of weak acid is much more concentrated, the partial dissociation in this case produces more concentration of hydrogen ions than the complete dissociation of the diluted strong acids. 